Okay, let's do the rest of Pumpkin Hill. Oh, do we have to? Yes, we do. Oh. It's here somewhere. It's around somewhere. <laughs> Day down. What was the point of that? I don't know, but I had to cut it out to make time. <laughs> Knuckles' kind of mouth looked way more brown in this game than usual, because like in, in SA... <laughs> I feel good! In SA1, his mouthpiece is kind of like yellow, but in this game it's just really brown. It's like he's been, you know, sunbathing or something. Crazy sucker. Crazy anteater. <laughs> they... Oh, I love this. They X. You see Robotnik Empire in the background? Mm, that was a little nod to the westernized name. Well, you know what's really, really odd? What's that? I, I was watching an interview with the American producer of Unleashed the other day, mm. and he actually said, he said himself, he, he went, um, well, technically his name is Dr. Robotnik, we still call him Eggman. Right. So I was like, what the hell? Come on, friggin' Robotnik did, you twat! How did they not notice this huge satellite? Ah, oh, fuck knows. And this is like, um, whenever me and Torch argue about these games, and, and he talks about some of the problems with the um, story in SA1, I just say, mate, this is this space station was made 50 years ago, and it's more, you know, more advanced than anything on Earth. Explain that. Hmm. I love the fact that they blew up half the moon, it's genius. Why not you know, the whole moon? You know, it's... It's never fixed in um in in Sonic X when this happened in the SA2 ad adaptation. After that, when Eggman's trying to prove he's actually a good guy, you actually see him rebuild the moon. How can but you rebuild a moon? <laughs> well, no, like he—it's not really he like he like artificially fixes it. Oh, but, like right. in 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 the in the game continuity, it's, it's never been fixed. <laughs> That's some awful lip movements there. Wow, 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 wow. I miss Ryan Drummond. Mm. I, like, for some reason, Tails sounds so lifeless. How did he manage to harness all that energy? Now, this is continuity from adventure. Yeah. I love Tails' SA2 theme. Mm. That crazy sitar playing is great. Because you don't really learn this until the dark story, but Tails was given that yellow emerald for saving Station Square. No, isn't that, isn't that, no, that's, isn't that the, the fake one he made, or is, is that revealed on the arc? I think he's carrying both the real and fake yellow emeralds. Yeah. Mm. But it also, it makes no, it, even though it tries to tie in with SA1, literally it makes no sense, because at the end of SA2, Sonic acquires all the emeralds, so, uh, unless he gave one back to, like, the mayor of, of Station Square, how would Station Square have had, had an emerald to give tails? This is true. The whole thing's flawed. <laughs> I love blowing up police. It's <laughs> just blowing up. Like, tell he's meant to be a good guy. He's just killing like half the police in Station Square. Well, that's they're how he doing, rolls. They're just doing their job, tails. <laughs> and since when did the police get all these robots and shit? Oh, that's gone. Is that, oh yeah, oh, yeah. Ooh, booster. I can't, I can't miss like Carl explaining everything to you. Like, you've got the power ring and stuff like that. I was about to make an F Zero reference there. Uh. Oh, go on then, make it, make that reference. You got boost power. Yeah. <laughs> Having never played the games myself, that means nothing to me. Hmm. Boom. There you go. That's what that, that's what Tom was talking. <laughs> Tie eight hundred points. <laughs> <laughs> that's what Tom was talking about in an earlier point. The more things you have hooked up, the more points you get afterwards. Hmm. Speaking of uh, the word tie, I was watching a, a Japanese version of the Green Hill adaptation. Uh, I don't, I don't know why, but the way the Japanese actor said that was tie made me laugh. <laughs> it just reminded me like I love the Japanese voice actor for Sonic, and whenever in, in Sonic X he would do English like, "Oh, what a great view!" And it's like weird <laughs> shit like that. Oh, uh, if if you wanna. Hey, great, just watch episode 5 in Japanese, Clash Sonic vs Knuckles. He goes to the top of a mountain and goes, Wow! What a great view! <laughs> <laughs> uh. and like, who is this bridge made for, you know? Half the thing, half of it's missing, and there's just giant fucking pillars on it. Maybe it's in production. <laughs> and Tails are just 
spent it, made about like 200 million d quid's worth of like property damage to this little town. Crazy sucker. Okay. And again, this this is what I was talking about last time about Tails' levels. Like, if you can kind of see how they've been kind of shoehorned in because they they don't really affect the plot. Like at the end of this level, nothing would have been in like the story wouldn't have improved at, at all. It's just basically Tails saying, "I'll go on ahead and distract police," which you know you could have easily not shown that and just gone straight to the next story level but, but then again you know well to, to be fair in this in, in on hero side the only person's level should really affect the plot is sonics to be honest this is true as a but, but it, it's weird because in dark story literally every level virtually apart from a couple of rouge levels all the levels really affect the story in dark mode Was that a phoenix I saw in that cage back there? I think it, it was, um, a, you know, like every an, every liver has some, you know, animal trapped in a cage. Yeah, there are special animals that you can find, though. Yeah, it's the better, like, like, when playing this as in dark mode, why would Shadow care? Um, he needs a hobby. <laughs> I thought he was a stamp collector. Hmm. Wouldn't it be hilarious to have <laughs> Shadow be a stamp collector? I'd buy that hilarious. Yeah. I could have I just hit Omachow. <laughs> Good. <laughs> no, what I love is that if you so much as touch the car, it goes flying. Like, yeah. you don't have to shoot it, you just simply walk into it and it goes flying. Oh, God. What did What did you think of changing the, um, the, the, uh, color of Tails' plane? Uh, wasn't it the same as in Sonic Adventure? Well, it, yeah, well, uh, of course, you know, since Sonic 2, his plane was red. Mm. But then, you know, in uh, SA1, it gets sh it gets um, shut down, and he, he creates this new one, the, the Cyclone. I much preferred the red. It would have stood out a bit too much, to be honest. Oh, there's a great... To go back to um, Sonic X for a second, there's this great bit where you see... Where Tails meets Sonic for the first time. You see, it's like in SA1, you see Sonic run around and find Sonic's plane. It's red, and he just starts painting it blue. Like, he hasn't introduced himself to Sonic yet. Hmm. He just starts painting his... like... If I was Sonic, I'd be like, Bitch, what the fuck are you doing on my plane? <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Ugh, I don't particularly like this level. No one likes this level. We're here at Aquatic Mine, but it. <laughs> <laughs> that's the fact that's, that's like the opening of every. We're in Pumpkin Hill! We're in Aquatic Mine! Yo, this is Wild Canyon! It's just like. <laughs> oh, there is one good point to this level now, and I'm t I think I'm taking you to show it. Oh, or is this, is this the, the breathy thing? Yes, the air necklace or something. Yeah. See, it's, I never. Yeah, sorry, mate. It's pretty much essential for last story. Yeah, which is why on on my Dreamcast version, I, I was never able to finish SA2 because I always died as Knuckles. Mm. Oh, that music. Dun, 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 dun. I'm off you, bitch. Dun. Thank you. Air necklace. Now you can breathe underwater unlimitedly. Epicness. Which really does, it's not really essential for Last Story, but it helps so much. Well, it, but it just it just makes Knuckles' this section of Last Story about, just, it makes it easy to do, really. Mm. Because well, without, you, without it, you really can't afford to make, like, a single mistake underwater, otherwise you, you will die. We'll comment more on that when we get to Last yeah. Story, though. But yeah, this is kind of the same problem I had with SA1. It's like, Knuckles was was in the desert, right, when the animal shattered. How the hell did these creatures get into this underground aquatic mine? They shot so hard, they rippled through the fabric of reality. <laughs> Time paradox! Sounds like a bad fanfic. <laughs> I wish, I wish Knuckles would have jazz music again. I prefer the jazz. Mm, it's very stereotypical to have rap. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's just, it's just like what? I remember just playing this just first time and just thinking, "Oh, Sega, what have you done? Mm. Why have you given Knuckles rap for?" <laughs> Some of these clues are so ambiguous. <laughs> you just calling it in. It's like, in the wall. Thanks for that. <laughs> in the wall. 
<laughs> By Some... a thing. Somewhere in the level. No shit. Inside Amachow. <laughs> Rip the little bastard's head off. Oh, wait a minute. I mean, by the canister. <laughs> by the canister. Yes. <laughs> Ooh, I like you, pussycat. Yes. <laughs> right. Uh, Beast Wars for the win. See, this is the problem with with a level this big, and when you can only find one at a time. So like, we, you get lost, and we like Tom's been going for like, three minutes, and we have no we have no idea what the hell uh, we're doing. Oh, don't remind me. Anyway, joins in part five, where hopefully we will find some emerald shards. Bye bye.